Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through some of the updates on the Green Beetle that I just got. So we're inside the car. And not much has changed. I mean the floors are cleaner. As you can clearly see. I've got most of the stuff vacuumed out. But that's pretty much the only cleaning I've done in the car. Anyway, back to topic. Still the chip in the windshield, that's fine. It does not come in contact with the windshield wiper, which you'll see in a minute. This. Even though I need this to drive the car, this key does not start the car. Why, you might add? I'm just going to leave that in there for the immobilizer. Which is important, without this key in here, the immobilizer comes on and will not start the car. But you might be saying, how do I start the car? This is your starter switch. And this is the key. There you go. The car does start, run, and drive fine. Now, the accessories aren't on. So to turn them on, that's what I have this guy for. I do this. Putting that in there just a little bit to push the little tiny button in that's in there and keep it in there with the threads. Allows me to have stereo, which was probably the issue with the deck before, but it also had some broken buttons and the tape deck was jammed, so the deck was no longer good. I replaced it with this Sony deck, which works perfect. Okay, so, turn the car off. Again, can't use the key. Accessories are off. Can hear the deck. And voila, that's how I start and stop the car. Ammo. Okay. So the car does run and drive perfectly fine. It needs, I believe, one strut replaced. Spring and strut, the whole strut assembly needs to be replaced. But other than that, there is no clunks, no silly noises, nothing. Everything on this car works great. Let's go look under the hood and in the trunk and check out the body and see what I've done there. We are at the front end and um, as you can see I've been fooling around with the headlights. This one is just fine. I just have it popped out at the moment. This one however, um, it's not actually in there at the moment. I have the clip somewhere around there because the clip that actually like mounts it in the arm on it is broken off. If you know anything about Beatles, you'll understand what I'm talking about. The arm that literally sucks the light. You know what? Watch. Oh, and I detailed the engine bay a bit, as you can tell. Looks brand new. But that clip I was mentioning is this little guy right up here. This little clip on the other side. Is broken off so I wouldn't be able to push the light bulb out I literally had to pry it out <clears throat> but other than that as you see I'm trying to clean up the aluminum <clears throat> all the plastics are cleaned up 
I have a new battery terminal on there. I actually replaced the whole fuse box. <clears throat> As you can see. Because I had one. Cleaned up the battery terminals a bit. Put them back on. Um, did a bunch of stuff, really. I mean, this car's in really, really good shape. I'm glad I didn't part it out. I mean, take a quick look. Does this not look pretty much brand new? I don't even think the camera does it justice right now because I'm telling you, it looks so clean. Even under the hood. All I've done is wipe it down. I have not detailed this car. But, if you do remember, besides the chip in the windshield way over there, um, there is damage to the rear quarter. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so we're back on the back side again. This is where the damage is. And you can obviously see there's still scratches and stuff, but I've come in here and I've plastic welded it back together because I don't have, well, let's just be honest, I don't have the funds at the moment to buy a new plastic piece, which a local yard does have the green color I'm looking for. I also want to make sure I pull this dent out properly before I replace this to make sure everything lines up properly. So what I did is I plastic welded this seam with a flat head and some heat. And if you look, I think I did a pretty good job. I think next time I do something like that, I'm going to make a video and show you what I did because I'm actually quite happy with the strength of this. They are smooth. They could probably be a quick bondo and sand and paint, but like I said, a local yard actually has a whole one of these that I'm going to get. I also, um, this rim right here is actually from one of the stock beetle rims from the, our yellow beetle. Uh, this isn't from this car, but it is the exact same rim as what's on the rest of the car. So I put the spare tire back in the trunk, and that's where I'm going to bring us next. So when it comes to the trunk, I can pop it with this, but then this doesn't work right. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. See? It doesn't always work right. You know what it is? Wrong key. Just lock up that car again. There it goes. And I'll find the other key somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, I gotta find the key. Oh. Get it, keys. Okay, so back to what I was saying. If I was to put the key in here, works perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. But when I do this, okay, pops fine. Okay, in fact, it's the best working trunk lid I've ever had on a Beetle, and I've now owned several. But when I try to close it, it won't close properly. I don't know if you heard that. It doesn't close. Of course it closed properly that time. <clears throat> but what happens is sometimes, it's probably because I've already done this today, it jams in here and I usually have to do that to let the lock mechanism up in here kind of like reset. But anywho, there's the dirty floor mats. The reason I mention these is because they're only dirty now. I got them kind of cleaned up very well. I just have to get them cleaned. But, uh, the trunk light works, which is nice because, again, not something I've ever had that really works very well. And then I got the spare tire all put away. I need a new tool basket that sits in there for all the tools and doohickeys that come with your Volkswagen. I need to get a new one of those. But everything back here is nice and clean. She's perfect. This time. 
of course not. This update video, I just wanted to show you about the crack in the windshield and the legality of it. This is its furthest most point right here. Okay. So the driver's side windshield can't come, I believe it's two inches from within that for this crack to become what they call structurally unsound. So I'm going to show you <coughs> how close it comes. I'm going to try to slow that down. I hope that explains it. I know a lot of people have been asking if I'm going to be saving the Beetle, and yes, yes I am. It's actually already on the road. We're already driving it. So I appreciate everybody's support with the Beetle. It's going to get better from here. I promise you. So this is just an update. There'll be many more updates to come. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you soon.